Okay guys, so it is a new month and that means it's time for another look at my stock portfolio. There was a really great response on the last video and as well as that, there was a great response on my cryptocurrency portfolio video. So going forward, I'm gonna be doing an update on both portfolios every single month. But for this video, it's just gonna be my stock portfolio. And as you can see from the title, there was quite a few changes this month. There's also quite a few changes in my cryptocurrency portfolio as well. So if you guys are looking forward to seeing that, make sure you do drop a like on this video and I'll try to get it out as soon as I can. But anyway guys, let's jump into the stock portfolio. So I've pulled up Trading212 right here. And you can see that we're currently sitting at 24,738. So I just did a quick check on my YouTube channel to see what my last update video was in this stock portfolio and it was 32,000. So you're probably wondering where on earth is that money gone? So I did have an unforeseen purchase, basically I bought a car. So I wasn't actually planning on getting this car for a couple more months, but a good deal came up. So I decided to go for it and take the most of the opportunity. So let's go over what I actually sold in my stock portfolio. So if we go to pies here, this would be the easiest way for me to explain it and kind of visualize it. So you can see my growth fund here is pretty much about the same. And then my genetics fund and my additional growth fund are substantially lower, just about 200 euro in each of them. So I believe my additional growth fund, I'm not sure of the exact figure, but I think it was around the five grand figure and the genetics fund was about 1,000, so about 6,000 there. Um, I pulled out of them two pies, and then the growth fund, I pulled out about another 2,000 there as well. So I think I pulled about, out about 8,000 roughly um, out of the um, out of the stock portfolio. And just looking at the figure here, that roughly equates to about 32,000, so I think that's about right there. So the reason I pulled from these two pies mainly, and then a small bit out of the growth fund pie as well, is because both of these pies are actually down slightly in their position. You can see they're both down about 1% and 6% respectively there. But I think they're both down in the region of, I don't know, was it 5% or something along the lines of that? So I actually wanted to sell the positions while they were in the negative so I could reduce my tax bill for the year. So now, of course, some positions were up in this. For example, my Tesla position was up in this. I don't think I've ever had a position in Tesla that's been down really. Like some other things, for example, I think Skyworks was down a bit. It's down another bit since I bought it again. But I think Skyworks was down a bit and some other plays like that were down a bit. So I decided to take advantage of some of the losses there so I can write them off against my profits and reduce that taxable gain. If what I'm saying here sounds like gibberish, go ahead and check out the video. I'll put an eye notification to it. Uh, that just explains basically the taxes on um, stocks and shares. But yeah, there was no other reason for me selling besides that I just wanted to buy this car. I didn't want to get a loan off for the car. I had the cash so it would make sense to pay interest on a loan when I just had the cash. So that was literally the only reason for selling. It's not like I've lost conviction in these plays or it's not like I think the market is gonna drop further. It may do, but <laughs> I didn't think that. Um, so that's not the reason I sold it. It was purely just so I could fund buying this car. So in the meantime, I did put 200 back into my additional growth fund pie and that's down about 1%. And I just left that 200 in the genetics pie. Uh, so I took about 800 out of that and that's still down a little bit there. So yeah, overall, not too bad. Happy I was able to buy that car in cash. And um, yeah, the, the pies are looking good here. So in terms of adding money into the stock portfolio, I've just put 200 into it. That's where you can see that the balance at the very top, I'll put a little red box around it, and the other portfolio balance, there's a bit of a discrepancy there. Um, so it's about 200 in the difference there. So what I'm gonna do today is actually invest, I think, um, let's go for 70 euro of that. We'll invest that into our additional growth fund pie. So what we'll do is we'll click this, we'll go ahead and click invest. Let's put in 70 euro. And then we'll go ahead and you can see what we're buying here. So a little bit of Airbnb, Boeing, CCIV, DraftKings, Jumia, Nano Dimension. A couple of plays there, a couple of different ones. Let's go ahead and click confirm buy on that. This is just telling me that one of the uh, stock markets will not be open when I do this. That'll fulfill in the morning. And that is for my ETF, the uh, cannabis ETF there, um, which is the Han ETF. Uh, so that'll fulfill in the morning. But we've gone ahead with them other buys there now. So a couple of different plays that I've made in this pie. This is kind of the pie I normally mess around with the most. Don't do too much messing around with the main pie um, because whenever I rebalance that, there's much more money to be rebalanced and I don't want to cash in my profits just yet. Try to avoid that for the taxes right now. Um, but some things that I've recently added here would be Jumia Technologies, which is basically the Amazon of Africa. So that is a good one for you guys to maybe look into. Small bit of CCIV there as well. Pretty much all SPACs have been hit pretty hard here. Most growth stocks have, but SPACs in particular, um, they are special acquisition companies, those that, did, that didn't know, and that's essentially where Lucid Motors um, have gone into the stock market here under CCIV. And um, yeah, they're down a bit. Um, Palantir, we're still waiting for Palantir to take off. I'm still buying into that. I think it is really gonna take off in the next couple of months, hopefully. Um, but either way, I'm happy to hold it long-term because it's a great play. I've made a couple of videos on it. Um, you can check them out on the channel if you haven't already. A recent thing that I added also was Taiwan Semiconductors. So this is a big kind of Asian player in the semiconductor market. Um, so yeah, that's a good play right there. Similar to that, we have Qualcomm and Skyworks who are also semiconductors. There's a big chip shortage at the minute, so I'm trying to get in on some of these plays. I think 
that industry will come back well and it's a really important industry going forward for um, pretty much all bits of technology. And then another play that we've added here is Riot Blockchain. I think I talked about that in my previous portfolio update, but essentially they are cryptocurrency miners and they do it in a sustainable way with kind of renewable energy and that. So that's a good thing to invest in there, in my opinion. Okay, so let's jump into our growth fund pie here. And we'll just see, did I make any changes here? I'm um, just flicking through here. So when I, I did actually sell out of a couple of positions here. I think it was like Nvidia. Um, that's basically what I pulled out of this pie when I took money out because I didn't want to take any money out of Tesla and Apple and them kind of things. So I basically just removed some positions from this pie and took that money out from there. But yeah, you can see here a couple of the same ones that have my additional growth pie. Um, got Tesla, Apple in there, Disney, things like that. And there's I basically just consolidated how many stocks are in there. And they're all performing pretty well. I think that pie is up, yeah, 1.6K 1, 1. right there. In fact, if I only had Tesla in this pie, it would actually be performing better than all the rest. But yeah, that's just how it goes, I guess. So let's also just go to the very bottom here and we'll just click investments and get a bit of a overall kind of view of what's going on here. So Tesla has grown a little bit since the last video up to 51%. And then we've got Neo there as well. So about 60% of my portfolio right now is EVs. Definitely bullish on them. Then we've got Palantir coming in. As I said, I've been buying that, hoping for it to pop off soon. Then we've got Apple, a solid stock there. DraftKings, also a very good one. Coinbase recently added some of that. It hasn't been performing too well, but I do believe it will be good over the next couple of months. Then we've got Etsy Square, and I'll just scroll down to see a couple of the rest of them. So guys, that was the stock portfolio update for this month. Just kind of went over some of the things that I bought and sold. Um, my kind of plan for the coming month is to just kind of add that 200 euro in at different intervals whenever I do see a red day. Don't plan to add more capital in this month right now. As I said, just had that big purchase of the car. So just gonna try start building up the capital again and uh, keep investing, so. So yeah, overall, didn't do too much investing in the month of April, kind of took money out opposed to putting money in, which is never really a good idea unless uh, you can justify it, which I think I could have for that purchase. But the plan going forward is just to drip feed that 200 in for the month of March, maybe add a little bit more if I see some more opportunities in there as well. But guys, I'm excited to show you my cryptocurrency portfolio. There's been a lot of different things happening in that. So as I said, if you're looking forward to that and you enjoyed this video, make sure you do drop a like on it. If you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe as well. We're gonna try to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of May here. So yeah, that's gonna do for this video. Thanks very much for watching.